Hello and welcome to Jive Talking with me, Disco Dan. On today's episode, we'll be taking a look back at the action from this past weekend here at House of Pain Wrestling, and we're going to kick things off with Renef on Friday, the 23rd of February. The show kicked off with a tag team match as Diamond Dave Andrews teamed up with main event Joey Cement to take on the team of the money mogul Sash and the House of Pain heavyweight champion, the tribal beef, Grayson Clay. Dave and Joey looked to be closing in on victory as they were setting up a double team move on Sash when suddenly... Big Man Inc. came storming to the ring and attacked Dave and Joey, causing the disqualification. Luckily, the badly dressed boys and newcomer Alex Rue were on hand to chase off Big Man Inc. Alex Rue then grabbed the microphone and challenged either member of Big Man Inc. to a match, which Adam Bolt declined, but said that Jackie T was up for a fight on the understanding that everybody else left ringside. So we had ourselves a one-on-one match between Alex Rue and Jackie T. Alex looked to be setting up for the win during the match when the referee Lilith got knocked down. This allowed Adam Bolt to hit Alex in the head with a baton which allowed Jackie T to get the pin to steal the victory. We had a triple threat match next as the main spectacle Tristan Wheeler was in action against Mr. USA Lance Flashman and the rogue lucha Ritmo. Ritmo looked to have the match won when he hit a springboard cutter onto Tristan, but Flashman came charging in, hit Ritmo with a spear to pick up the win. After the match, Flashman and Peter Sador called out the House of Pain Heritage Champion, Nate Colt. Nate came to the ring to hear what Broforce had to say, and they ridiculed Nate and said that he should not be the Heritage Champion and that Lance Flashman should be. Things got heated between them, and Broforce retreated from the ring while Nate was standing tall, ready for a fight. One of the co-full throttle champions, Oscar Prospero, was in action next as he issued an open challenge for the full throttle championship. This was answered by Max Chimera making his return after a few months away due to a rib injury. Max said that Oscar was only half a champion because he shared the belt with Indigo Jones. So Oscar said that as he is only half a champion in Max's words, Max would only be allowed half of the time limit. So instead of the usual six minute full throttle time limit, Max only had three minutes to beat Oscar Prospero. As the bell rang, Max went straight to work in this fast-paced, action-packed match and Max locked in an anaconda vice on Prospero, but the time limit ran out as Oscar tapped out at 3 minutes and 1 second, but it was too late, meaning that the match was a time limit draw and Oscar Prospero and Indigo Jones are still the co full throttle champions. In the main event of the evening, it was a six man tag team match as Team Textbooks Kyle Crimson teamed up with two of the Black Sheep in the form of Ryu Genshin and the Shepherd Johnny Sharp to take on the badly dressed boys of Brandon Brooks and Davey Thompson who teamed with the Suntan Superman, L.J. Heron. As the match came to a close, it was the badly dressed boys hitting their double disaster kick on Kyle Crimson to pick up the win for the team. 
After the match, Big Man Inc. came storming to the ring and a brawl broke out. All three of the referees tried to separate them, but this wasn't enough. And the entire locker room emptied to try and keep the badly dressed boys and Big Man Inc. separated. As they seemed to be separated and things calmed down, Brandon Brooks went charging to the top rope and dove out of the ring onto everybody and sent Big Man Inc. retreating out of the building. It seems that the issues between the badly dressed boys and Big Man Inc. are far from over. Moving on to St Anne's now on Saturday the 24th of February we kicked the show off with a tag team match as Team Textbook's Kyle Crimson teamed up with Joseph the Fallen Star to take on Gerardin and the House of Pain Heritage Champion Nate Colt. Gerardin looked to be closing in on victory as he went to the top rope ready to hit a frog splash when Owen Ocean and Mike Angelo came to ringside to cheer on Gerardin. This distraction allowed Kyle to get up and throw Gerardin off of the top rope and then hit a bull hammer elbow to pick up the win. After the match, Mike Angelo and Owen Ocean entered the ring and raised Gerardin's hand before suddenly Owen hit a low blow onto Gerardin they then pulled out the trident and attacked Gerardin with it, ending the Three Kings. It was the semi-finals of the Rising Star Tournament next, as Mr USA Lance Flashman went one-on-one -on -one with Alex Rue. Alex looked to have things in control when Flashman's running buddy and guest ring announcer for the night, Peter Sador, jumped up on the apron and hot-shotted Alex. This allowed Flashman the opening to lock in a tongue and death grip, which made Alex pass out, meaning that Flashman picked up the win by pinfall. The Rising Star Tournament continued next as Zach Roberts came to the ring and announced that due to the concussion that he received at the hands of the Black Sheep in Sawley last weekend, he was unable to compete in his semi-final match. Rayner and Will Roberts came to the ring and Will said that as Zach can't compete, Rayner moves straight to the finals by forfeit. Zach did say that he is forfeiting his shot, but he was allowed to give his place to someone else. So, he could only think of one person, and that person was the returning Ethan Griffin, who had signed a brand new contract that morning. Team Textbook's Kyle Crimson came to the ring and said that this is a disgrace and it was Team Textbook that owned Ethan's contract and he was there to stop Ethan from competing. As Kyle got into the ring, Ethan super kicked him and the match was on. And it was Ethan picking up the win over Rayner as he reversed a spear attempt into a sunset flip to pick up the win and earn himself a place in the finals of the Rising Star Tournament against Mr. USA, Lance Flashman. It was a 10-person tag team match next as one of the co-full throttle champions, Oscar Prospero, teamed up with the Imperial Dragon, the Black Sheep's Will Roberts and the raucous kings of Owen Ocean and Mike Angelo to take on the team of the Witch of the Ring Spectra, Tony Allen, Zach Davey, Veronica Blaze and Axel Justice. As the match was coming to a close, Mike Angelo and Owen Ocean pulled out the trident they attacked Gerardin with earlier in the night, but Gerardin was on hand to stop them from using the trident as a weapon. 
this is where Axel Justice hit a huge choke slam onto Mike Angelo to pick up the win for the team. The outlaw Casey Lewis came to the ring next and issued an open challenge to anyone in the locker room and the open challenge was answered by me. As the match went on, I hit a devastating move onto Casey where he rolled out of the ring, stopping me from going for the pinfall. I then jumped on him on the outside and threw him back into the ring, but Casey grabbed the referee, distracting him, which allowed Peter Sador to jump up on the apron, bash my head off of the turnbuckle and knock me to the floor. The referee then countered me out, meaning that Casey Lewis picked up the win by count out. In the main event of the evening, it was a two out of three falls match as Mr. Number One, Niall Hind, went one on one with the powerhouse punk, Mikey McLovin. The first fall was pin falls only and it was Niall picking up the first fall. The second fall was submissions only and it was Mikey making Niall submit with the walls of Jericho evening the score to 1-1. The third and final fall was a street fight and these two went to war with each other, attacking each other with chairs and Niall even put Mikey through a table. As Mikey was setting up to destroy Niall with a chair, Broforce came charging to the ring and Lance Flashman, Peter Sador and Casey Lewis beat down Mikey McLovin. Jerry Jarvis then jumped in the ring to try and even the numbers but he was taken out as well which is when I came charging to the ring to try and even up the odds but the numbers game was still too much. Luckily, Ethan Griffin was on hand and came off the top rope with a crossbody onto all three members of Broforce. We then fought Broforce to the back, leaving Mikey and Niall to finish the match. Niall swung a chair at Mikey, but he managed to avoid this, hit a stunner, and then came off the top rope with a diving elbow drop onto a chair to pick up the win, putting an end to the rivalry between himself and Niall Hind. Well, thank you very much for watching today. That is all I do have time for. Don't forget to like the video, share the video, leave a comment below, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you next time for some more Jive Talking.